Oh. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. <laughs> yeah, that's what you put in. Hey, there's number nine coming in hot. Hey, mom. Is it going? Good yeah, it's morning. Going. Hey, vlog. How you doing? <laughs> um, it's the last day. Some people are sad. Some people We're are not happy. sad. <laughs> Charlotte. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Hey vlog. Or bye vlog. Hello well, Morgan. It's the last day. It is the last day. Last day. Sad day. <laughs> yeah. Morgan, would you say this is about the best experience of your life? Or I is it a say... lot like petting dogs? Oh, well, petting dogs is pretty much the best experience ever, so there might as well right. hand in hand. It's a win-win situation. Win-win situation. I guess it's not your last day. Real. I love you. See you never. No, just kidding. <laughs> See you sometime. gestures are they like pointing are they trying to show you on a map and understanding that like your direction isn't always going to be full forth to you like it's not always going to be blatantly given to you but important to realize like that those people in Indonesia and the Philippines they like have just as much of a story to tell as we do even if we can't like completely understand what they're saying I can't think of like a specific example on this trip, but just like overall, I feel like adaptability is really important in like being journalist and like you go out to get a certain story and then you realize like, oh, this isn't exactly what I expected. It kind of took a year, like you had expectations about it, but it wasn't exactly what you expected. And some things were and some things weren't, but like just learning to be adaptable in different situations. I feel like it's important. Off, give the neutral observation. I think that's really important to keep in mind because you do postpone judgment that way. And then the next step of like analyzing the values of other people, it will help postpone the judgment even more. But I just really like the neutral observation kind of thing. If you were recruiting or if you were asked by somebody say, oh, you know, I'm like thinking about going on that trip. I think not being afraid of rejection is a big one because, and like I learned that from watching Ally a little bit of just like going up and asking people questions, like, and just doing it, like, whatever they're, it can be scary to do that. And like, you will have instances of people in grocery stores being not nice to you, but like, um, if you are just afraid all the time that people are going to judge you or reject your question or whatever, you're not going to get it anywhere. Huh. A complete huh. story in only huh. six words. Huh. Huh.
I'm usually, grainy. I'm usually pretty grainy, so it's okay. Um. I guess the biggest thing that I think has kind of come up from this trip is that, I don't know, even if things feel one way for the longest time, maybe they aren't always that way. And that sometimes maybe if you have preconceptions about things, that really digging your hands into it is, is what's going to make the difference of understanding it. And Honestly, I don't know. That's like this whole trip I've kind of focused on this mentality of like, I don't know. Maybe it's not even just this trip. Maybe it's like my whole life. I've embraced the mentality of like, you don't need directions. Especially when you're in like a city like this, like, you could straight up wander forever and like you'll find your way home eventually and you'll see a lot of cool stuff on the way and that's something that like I'm gonna miss. I could literally get off the tram, spin 360 degrees and pick any random direction and go and I'm gonna see something cool or I'm gonna find some good food or uh, gonna run into an interesting character on the street and uh, that is probably something that I will miss the most and something that I will look forward to getting back to when I finally come back to this incredible city. Best thoughts forever over. That it, it's really been the best experience of her life. <laughs> It's uh, more along the lines of it's going to be hard to uh, equal this group of kids. You know? Yeah. Okay, group of kids. Yeah. I wanted to say thank you um, to you guys. Um, we have, from the first time you guys got together, we met you to today. Please don't disappoint between now and take off tomorrow. But we, we both feel, and, and I know Annabelle does too, that we've been very, very, very fortunate uh, to have such a great group. Um, um, I'd also like to say thank you to Annabelle, who has guided us, um, guided us through. Um, before we go any farther, I'd like to say uh, a big thank you to Lynette. Um, because uh, we would not be here, none of us would be here if it wasn't for all the work Lynette did. Um, I'm, you know, I'm just... Yes. I've been married to her nearly 21 years. Yes. It sounds, it sounds, uh, it, sounds um, it sounds like one of those things like, uh, Say, but, you know, she always just to say thank you, and this really made us cry. Like, really. Sorry, I'll send it. Send it again. I'm feeling really funny. Thanks. <laughs> no, we are just really grateful for all of you, and this really this meant a lot. And made us cry. Like, this part. Yes. And we appreciate everything you guys we have done. Do. You guys have been a great group. You guys have made. We love you. No. I just want to have the same without you. <laughs> Let's do it again next week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs>